Oh, there's speed demons. Welcome back to Half Minute Hero, the second coming. We're already back in the saddle. There's a couple items to buy around here, but the first thing we really want to figure out is that uh, swordsman looks like he was in some dire straits. Probably in our best interest to go ahead and help him out, yeah? It's still a pretty good idea to go ahead and wet your teeth on these first enemies. Because trying to make it through the cave towards the uh, western village can be a little bit rough otherwise. The hero chain there is something special that'll happen once in a while when your health is particularly low. If uh, your health is in the flashing red and yellow zone, uh, you'll have a hero chain happen, and depending on your party, different things can happen, but by and large it means that everyone will use their skills all at once. You can see the enemies to the east are still a little bit too tough for us, so... Probably in our best interest not to mess with them right now. But now that we're in the village, we can go ahead and talk to our... Well, this uh, wandering swordsman who seems to have had a bad go of it. Well, he may not have time for that, but we certainly do. In the northern hole, the mole here will pop up between three different locations. All you have to do is run in there to start the fight. And once you defeat him, you have the sword stone. And using that, the smith down here in the village can go ahead and make a new sword for Rogan. Once we have the sword, we can hand it over to Roken to go ahead and enlist him in our merry band. With Roken in our party, we now have a full party of five. Rufi and Roken will be taking out the back spots while Knight and Ramiz? Ramiz is in the uh, front row along with us. I want to go ahead and save up money for the golden armor just because, well, I love shiny things. I don't recall when you hit the uh, greater than evil point here. I think it's at level 30. I could be wrong. Either way, once you're ready and Roken's in the party, well, Rock Dragon's just going to go down like a sack of wet rocks. and destroying the boss's defense, he goes down like a chump. Like a sack of wet hammers. Like a bag of kittens. Aww.
Griffin's a pretty excellent physical attacker, and if you're trying to, I don't know, optimize your party at this point in the game, you can probably go ahead and put him in the front row and put Ramiz in the back row. Ramiz is kind of a, uh, kind of weak. But now that we finished this quest, now would be a good time to go ahead and take on this global dungeon that I skipped over earlier. If we'd entered this global dungeon earlier, we would not have been able to get past that gate, and instead we would have gotten a hint as to what exactly would open it. If I remember correctly, the gate has some sort of description on it that says, uh, the old swordsman heart, or something to that effect. Now that you've finished this quest and the old swordsman's heart has been healed, well, it should be easy enough to get through it, right? The conditions have been met. There are quite a few goodies in this dungeon, and also some pretty strong enemies on the right side. Sometimes chests will contain herbs or things that you can use for a little bit of a... Uh, sort of a pick-me-up mid-dungeon. Sometimes it's necessary, sometimes it's really not. But by opening up this top chest, we get Heart Shard 1, which is something that really won't come into effect until damn near the end of the game. These birds are pretty strong, but you'll notice they're moving in a particular pattern. If you pay attention to the pattern, you can dodge by them to go ahead and, uh, well, just get by them and pick up this chest. And that's something that does come in pretty important later. Since, uh, some of the later dungeons, you're just not really meant to fight the monsters. But, with this dungeon cleared out, let's go ahead and make our way back towards uh, the rest of the evil elements. Of course, every time you have to pass through this little area here, I don't know why, you figure out after the first time, maybe they just uh, go ahead and give it to you, but I guess not.
so with that little interlude out of the way, let's take on some more elements. Despite the time goddess's hopes, it looks like we are going to have to take on the last two elements at the same time. Physic Dragon and Magic Dragon are both brothers, and they are both casting their spell destruction at the exact same time. So we'd better start getting up there, huh? Both dragons rule over a respective tower, and they kind of reflect, uh, well, something to do with the dragon's specialties. Physic Dragon is in the right tower, which is surrounded by, or rather, all the way up the tower, you'll be fighting through different uh, boulders to try and get to the top. Magic Dragon is more, I'll say, mentally focused, and his tricks involve trying to get you to go through all of these, uh, all of these portals. Of course, if you don't remember where the portals go, it can be a little bit tricky for you. But, once we reach the third floor, this is where we'll find the first of the dragons. You can take on either one you want first, but uh, maybe I should be a little bit stronger before I do, since he was definitely flashing yellow. As I mentioned, you can take on either one of the dragons first, and they do have special abilities that reflect their specialties. Physic Dragon will usually attack you with more physical skills. Magic Dragon will attack you with more magical skills. But I think now that we're level 25, we should be able to take on Magic Dragon, no problem. Magic Dragon out of the way, we do have two more floors to go through. But before I do that, I just want to go ahead and take out all these rocks. Just because, well, I really want to. There is a title for taking out every rock in this uh, in this tower, and I might as well get it now, right? Not to mention there's a weapon on the right side, and I could always use more hammers in my life. Still, now that we're at level 34, almost on level 35, the fourth floor has a lot of very strong enemies for us. And if you're not ready for it, they can wreck you pretty easily. But this is where the game also mixes up. Now you have to deal with both teleporters, or rather warps I should say, and rocks. There's a bandana inside a chest up here, which is pretty useful. It's another small armor upgrade. But then there are still three more teleporters to worry about. One of them will take you to another chest, which has clogs in it. One of them will take you to another time stream, uh, time stream vortex, which will restore your health. And the final one will take you up to the final floor. But at level 40, we're greater than evil, so let's take down Physic Dragon.
Landy. He was one of the final evil lords in Half Minute Hero 1. throw ourselves into the fray and be defeated. Oh. Oh. Maybe this isn't gonna work. It's alright. There must be somebody strong around here. Certainly the dragon who destroyed this village should be able to uh, destroy us as well. Oh, heavens. We're in trouble. If we can't stop this in 18 seconds, the world will be over. <laughs> 